We might be dropping into the kill zone again. Let's check this out. What's up, gang? Carlton Flowers here, your crypto pro. This is just a quick video because I wanted to let you know that we might be dropping down into the kill zone yet again. I mean, who would have thought that I'd have a second chance after that last video or the video before last that I did when I missed out as the price line bounced twice just above my kill zone? All right, let's just check it out real quick. Here we are on the four hour chart. So this is what happened before. Price moved up and it dipped down. I had my box, my kill zone ready that if it dropped into my green box, then that's when I buy, when I pull the trigger. So I got teased, it bounced up, but then it came back down and oh, was I ready to buy. And this little red wick, it just barely, it didn't even make it down to the top, but so close. And then spiked back up to the top of this trend line here and so we pretty much thought it was a done deal I thought I'd miss the bus yet again and was uh, thinking that pretty much I'm gonna leave this thing alone but lo and behold it looks like I'm going to get a second chance if these indications are correct because here we are we've got a uh, point of control price of 0.0113 we're trading well below that we just took a dive a nice little nose dive below the point of control really really nice and we're coming upon this critical fib circle boundary i think this is the let's look and see where we are on this fib circle ring set here on the one day chart we'll scrunch this down that is the 3.618 on the magical fib circle set which means there could be a pivot at this point we don't know if it could be up down or if it crawl or if it crawls up that fib circle ring because we usually get action sometimes we don't but we see in the past like when we hit this ring we took a nice little dive down we had no action here but it was a pivot point we did reverse from generally down to this little uptrend and so here we are dropping down to this next little ring close to my kill zone so let's zoom back into the four hour and pull this back up here looking at the volume profile on the right side we see that we've got a significant clump that is up here that we are moving away from uh momentum headed downward means we're not going to be worried about this clump up here we got another small node here and then this nice fat one around the point of control and we are below we are below this point of control right here at the 0.011 and now we could be headed right here to this peak here or below i mean we'll just have to wait and see what happens i might have to adjust this because i'm thinking if we get a first indication a slight indica indication of a bounce when we cross this ring if it looks like we're going to move up this ring i'm gonna have to pull the trigger so i might adjust this up a little bit but if i don't feel froggy and I don't pull the trigger and we do break to the downside and drop into this box, I'm jumping in. That's going to be my chance. Now, indications of the possibility of us dropping into my kill zone are right here. Stochastic. The fast line, the K percent is pretty divergent. Uh, below and gapped away from the percent D line, which tells me that we probably could head a little bit further down here into the oversold zone. And then on the on balance volume, uh, on the micro, we got a little bit of distribution going on that matches this price drop right here. Overall, it's still looking really strong with this level up and holding right there. So that could drop me down into the zone, but let's zoom back out and look at the one day and see what the stoke is doing here. On the one day chart, the percent K jumped away from the percent D line and it's divergent, which tells me that we probably have some strong momentum heading into the oversold zone on the one day. So with quite a bit of room to go, we could see like a little uptick here 
and then maybe drop down into the kill zone. So uh, OBV doesn't look as good on the one day with this distribution going on and a slight little recovery and then another drop. Now, this is the other bit of evidence that makes me get a little excited. We've got this big node right there. That could, it could possibly happen. We have this node right here. Uh, so if we drop into this kill zone and we continue to slide down, I'm going to have another one that I'm going to draw down here at the 0 0.0065 to 0 0.007 price level. I'll definitely buy a second bag after I get my first bag, but I'm certainly not going to wait. I will not wait until we get down here. I'm going to buy if we drop into this kill zone and then I will dollar cost average if we jump down here to this second box that I will draw if I get that first bag. So that's all I wanted to let you know is that we're getting close. I'm crossing my fingers and I'm about ready to jump on the RSR bandwagon. This is one that I want to ride for the long term. So wish me luck and I'll be back with an update soon. That's all I got. This is Carlton Flowers, your crypto pro and we out.